Right now we're going to talk about the rule of subtraction. The rule of subtraction is another strategy that you can use to help you solve subtraction problems. In the rule of subtraction, there are two steps. Step one says, change the subtraction sign to addition. And step two says, change the second number to its opposite. If you remember, opposites are things like negative three is the opposite of positive three or positive 12 is the opposite of negative 12. We use the rule of subtraction only on subtraction problems, which means if you have problems such as three plus negative five, or two plus negative seven, or negative three plus nine, these are not problems that you will use the rule of subtraction for. The rule of subtraction is only for subtraction problems, not addition problems. So let's go ahead and do a couple examples of the rule of subtraction. Let's say we had a problem such as 2 minus negative 8. We could solve this problem using a number line or maybe you can visualize that in your head. But if we're going to be using the rule of subtraction, we can change it to an addition problem that is easier to solve. So step one is change the subtraction sign to addition. I'm gonna keep my first number the same because it doesn't tell me to change it. Instead of subtraction, we're going to be doing addition. And then step two says, change the second number to its opposite. The opposite of negative eight is positive eight. So I'm gonna write that right there. According to the rule of subtraction, this equation will get you the exact same answer as this equation down here. This one just might be easier for us to solve in our heads than this one, because two plus eight is 10. Therefore, I know that two minus a negative eight equals 10. And I know this answer is reasonable because I know when I take away a negative number, my answer should be getting bigger. And 10 is definitely bigger than two. Let's do one more example of this. Let's say we have negative three minus nine. Using the rule of subtraction, I'm gonna keep my first number the same. Step one says change the subtraction sign to addition. And step two says change the second number to its opposite. We're subtracting by a positive nine. The opposite of positive nine is negative nine. So then I can do negative three plus negative nine, which I could use a number line for, or I could solve in my head. I know that negative three plus negative nine equals negative 12. Therefore, I know that negative three minus nine also equals negative 12. This is just one more strategy that you can use to solve subtraction problems with positive and negative numbers.